Can they break that? Yes. Stone, Stone mask. mask. What does this do? Oh no, hold on. Hat. Bonus points if you recognise what this is from. No idea. Anyway, is it the mask? Nah, nah. I'm, well, you know, it's meant to be a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure reference. Damn it! You you picked out the one popular anime I haven't seen. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I've only I've only recently started reading part two, and it's and it's hilarious. Whoa, 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 whoa! Check the map. Look. Yeah, there's something on the other side. Yeah. There's a wall here, right? Yeah. Does, does this something look funny about that bookcase? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the holy rod. I wonder what that does. Hmm, and it is actually slightly more powerful. Holy moly. Alright. The light compels you! <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, it, it, it doesn't look hugely impressive coming from, from Andy Card, but uh. See, that's the sort of stuff that you couldn't do previously on just sprite based things. That's true! Oh, by the way. Just uh. Just go back into that room. Okay. Don't you think Andy Card, you know, has had a bit, you know, he's had a bit of a tough day? Do you think, do you think he deserves to, to take a rest? Oh, look at that! <laughs> that's amazing! Oh, he's so chill. Oh, I look at it as a it's massive baller. In um, in Dawn of Sorrow, um, one of the um, central premises is that the main character can absorb souls and uh, get abilities. Um, and um, one of the abilities is to sit in a chair, like Alien Cars. Wow. I mean, he does actually recover HP, but uh, yeah, the main benefit is you just get to sit in a chair and just look like a complete boss. So, we've already explored up here. It's true, but I knew that guy was there and I him. So I had to kill him. I had to kill him! He's not some sort of, you know, persistent assassin. They seem pretty persistent, really. They do try hard. Like, if they can get that axe swing to come out- oh god. What? No! Whoa! Ow! Um. Whoa! Oh, what? Oh, this is going to be a problem, isn't it? Oh yeah, you can also summon enemies. No. Got him. Yeah, I mean, he's he's not really much of a boss. He's more like a mini boss. Well, he hurts, Jesus. Like he hits really hard. I suppose the Holy Rod actually does extra damage to him though, because he's a demon. Oh, that's true. Might, yeah, well that, well, that might be the case. If it is, that's pretty cool. It's because I usually do that boss first and then go after um, all the goodies upstairs. I've got a clock. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Keep going, keep going, keep going. No, 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 no back, 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 back the other way. Okay. You're about to leave without, you know, discovering some cool stuff. Oh yeah, smash everything. Mist could pass. Huh. I think we're all missing out on, this, on the really important thing here, which is that you just got a freaking hot dog. I did. Oh, I have so much food now. Yeah, I mean, you have pot roasts, you have hot dogs, you have apples. A potion? Wait, that's not food. TNT. Alucard, eat TNT. Okay. Mist could pass that way, so I need to find a way to turn into mist. Pretty much. But it doesn't look like it's here, so I'm gonna have to go back. It's alright. You did a bit more exploring, you got some more health for it. Yeah, that seems pretty good. I killed a small boss who surprised me. Bosses are doing this a lot, actually. That's surprising me because they're like suddenly boss. 
Yeah, it's not. I mean, in so, in so, in, so, in some of the later games, it, re it 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 really is like you know you can tell that a boss is just going to be. Um, you got flea on. That you're coming up against a boss because you know there'll be a big, you know, shiny door. Which would be like, ah, once I go through here, there's a boss fight. Oh, wait, no, the enemy is called Fionn. Oh, sorry. I got confused for a second. Oh. And there's always and there's always a save point right next to the boss room, which kind of does slightly take out some of the... You know, the tension, yeah, I know. Yeah, the threat. Whereas you know that with this, like, you know... I mean, you know, it's like, you know, if you, if, if you were going up against the Karasuma up in the clock tower, and... You didn't know that it could easily be killed without taking any damage just by airlocking it. You know, that'd be oh my god! You know, it's been ages since I've saved. I've got to go all the way back through here. Yeah, but it's lucky that I did realise I could do that. <laughs> Trust you to realise you could just duck an enemy. Right, so we're all done here. Are we? Oh, there's still the area. There's still the area up here that I can't get to. Yeah. I wonder if there's a triple jump in this game. It's got to be some way to get up over those stairs, up in, up in the castle keep. Hmm. Don't no. worry about it for now. Let's just go explore. All right, fine. I was thinking if you could drop down from an area above, but I don't think you can. Okay, I don't care anymore. There we go. That is efficient book killing. I love how all the letters fall out of their pages. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? It feels like the letters are the things that animated them to be evil books. Whoa! Yeah! Alright, this is the best weapon in the game. God damn it. Barnum, the best weapon. Oh, I could have gone to the shopkeeper, I forgot about that. Oh. Yeah, but you know, the shopkeeper sucks. Believe me, he hasn't really got much that's interesting. It's not like you can buy health from him. Apart from, yeah, you can buy potions, but it's not like you can buy Yeah, but it looked like you could buy ridiculous weapons from them, as I recall. Yeah, but you're more likely to find those weapons. That's true. I would have just liked to have bought a ton of potions, to be honest. I mean, how much money have you got at the moment? Let's see. 3,754. You wouldn't be getting a lot of your money. Fair enough. Uh, hmm, where do we go next? Well, there's the area down at the bottom that I can go to. Yes. I think that's where I have to head, which means I have to go to the teleporter. Up we go. Whee! Oh, so good. That is a highlight of the game for me. So how? So which way are we going to go to the to that unexplored bit? Well, so it looks like there's. If you look at the teleporter and you teleport yeah. down to the bottom left, it looks like there's an area above the bottom area that you can probably get down there from, because you can see there's a passage. Yes. Let's try that. Like, there's, there's a passage that leads to somewhere off the map. I just don't know where it's going. No, that's a pretty good way to think about it. And back in. Let's go! Oh yeah, here we are again. More bloody zombies. Hello, bloody zombies. We're dead now. Oh, yeah, I can double jump now. Um, hmm. I still can't get up here, can I? Uh, let's see, actually. That's hilarious. Damn it. Yeah, it looks like I still can't. I've got to come around from the other direction, it seems. Yeah. So you have to go all the way up to the marble corridor and then... And then jump back down somehow. Yeah. 
I could do that, I'll do that later. But for now, let's go and check this thing out. Yes. Oh, by the way, just just look at that map. Yep. I'm looking at the map. Yeah. So on the so on on your way back down, there's that square that you haven't uh, investigated yet. On the top, on the far left, yeah. Well, on, well, on the yeah, on the. Oh yeah, of course, as well. Huh. You're right. I wonder what that could be. So yeah. So let's go this way, I thought. So. Below here. Yeah, so we drop down. Oh! Ta da! Haha, <laughs> amazing! Required on the spot double jump landing. Oh! Oh, this is where I got all my powers taken away. Yeah. I remember this. I mean, there is a way to avoid getting those taken away, but. Ha! <laughs> that sounds amazing. So, um, you know how whenever you get um, hit by an enemy um, in midair, you get thrown back a little bit? Yep. If you're playing on luck mode and you take off all your armor, basically, basically the, the less defense you have, the further back you get thrown. Oh god, no, no, I want the time. Oh, wait, the watch is broken, it looks like. Oh no, it's not broken. We're, we're keeping the watch forever, by the way, because that weapon is ridiculous. Yeah, it don't causes expect, time. Don't expect it to be mu of much help on bosses. But yeah, so the less so the less defense you have, the more the further you get thrown back. Um, whenever you get hit by enemies in midair. Oh really? So um, there's a very very well known glitch. If you get hit by a warg in this room, yeah, but only when, on your first visit to the because after that they they get replaced by zombies. Yeah. Um, you can get thrown back so far that you can fly through the doorway into the next room, past death. Oh my god, what is this? Which never triggers the cutscene. Ah! Where, where he ah, evil merman! Where he removes all your um, Super Switch armor. So, oh. you get, so you get to keep your amazing armor for the rest of the game. Oh my god, what is this? This is ridiculous. Enough of this. Are they unlimited? Yeah. Wow, okay, game. You've made your point, well done. I'm gonna run away now. I thought you were gonna go explore that small passageway down to the bottom, bottom right. Yes, well I got scared, so I ran away. There's also this part up to the left anyway. Where we came in from. Ah! I can't leave through there. Much as I want to. It's okay. You see, I think our holy weapon is actually pretty good in Castlevania, you know? Yeah, you can't expect most weapon, most enemies to be weak to this. And there are, there, there are some games where as soon as you get a holy element weapon, like you've basically beaten the game because you know, all the enemies are friggin' demons. Oh shit. Hello? It's an owl knight. What is owl? What the? Haha! <laughs> I hope you feel like a dick now. It's his fault for being weak. You killed his owl, you made him sad, and then you killed him. Yes. Yes, I did, and I showed no remorse. Oh, damn it. Uh, you want me to use stopwatch. Hmm. That panel is different. I don't know why. No, that doesn't work. Hmm. And trying to jump down on it doesn't work. Either. No, it doesn't. Damn, that will be a mystery for another time then. It will remain a mystery forever. Will it? Yes. Is it not solvable? It will remain a mystery forever. I mean presumably somebody's asked the designers why. You they get nothing, you won't you won't ever know. Okay, fine. It's a mystery. We've got a basil out again. 
Can you just not? Thank you. They're zombies, you can't reason with them. I can try, damn it. They could be like the zombies from uh, that anime. Tokyo Ghoul. Where they're like completely conscious animes. Not conscious animes, conscious zombies. Conscious they are animes. Al also conscious animes. They are animes. The animes, they are becoming self-aware. It's like near, you know, near automata, except instead of robots, it's... it's cartoons? Oh god damn it, game! Self-conscious. I was being really smart and everything. Which that be pretty terrifying. So, this isn't the way, then. No. Ah, <sighs> fine. You said you wanted to go in blind. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> well, there we go. I was trolled again. Man, this is going to be a boring couple of episodes for the viewers to watch. Oh, it'll be fine. We're entertaining enough as it is. Well, they must be just getting a sick amusement from, like, all the hilarious silliness I have to go through. So, so, so you're suggesting that our audience, the only reason they like it is to watch you suffer. Yes, I think that's pri the primary reason you'd watch this LP. Uh, that's that's tragic in itself. Damn, I can't double jump all the way back up. No. Alucard, why can't you fly? You have wings. They will be really helpful right now. You just help me skip large amounts of the game. It's okay, though. I mean, if you really wanted to do, you know, you could use, you could, there's a whole range of glitches which allow you to basically just clip through walls and just sail through the map as if it wasn't there. I'm sure there are, but that's not my way. I'm going to heal up there and save. It's nice to see that they're actually starting to use save points now. Okay, no, in my defense, I walked into this room, not in my defense. In truth, I walked into this room by accident because I thought it was the exit and then oh, it right. turned out to be a save point. So I was like, well, I might as well say why I'm here. Why I'm here. Besides, it's not as if anything in this area is threatening me very much at the moment. True. So, where to next? Well, so I'm going to go all the way around up to the top and then come back down, basically. That's my plan. Fair enough. Radio. And we're back here again. And so now begins the backtracking. Except, yeah, we can make it slightly easier now because we have double jump. Yep. And I'm not going to spend ages on a solution for this. Because I figured it out, game. Eventually. Don't you feel, like, slightly pleased with yourself for at least being able to do it? Yeah, but everybody made fun of me for being so bad. <laughs> Of figuring it out. Apparently you can just make the jump as long as you uh, kill the corpse on top of it when it comes down. And I didn't know that. Oh well. well I mean, that's kind of what you did though, isn't it? It was just you having to get the timing with the axe right. Yeah, but apparently you don't even need the axe to do it. So I was like, ah. Oh. oh well. I'm not sure how you would manage to get up there though in time. If you killed it on was on the switch down below. I'm poisoned. I'm sure this will have lasting consequences. Well, what's your poison? You do actually do slightly less damage, I believe. Yes, but I still one hit everything. Yeah. Plus, I can go here now. I wonder where this leads. Sweet. Nice, what is that? Well made, but shabby looking. And it increases my con by one. Fair enough. I I, I will not look a gift hot cape in the mouth. Hmm. I checked just in case. He's learning. Man, just poison everyone out. Yeah, if you go if you get to a save point. Okay, so it doesn't run out. Uh it does, but it, it does, but it does take a while. It's fine. I got an upgrade. 
from a run, and it was all cool. Shooting some b-ball outside of the school. Okay, there's a save point here. Yes, there yeah. is. Aha! I mean, by that point, like, it had already worn off. Good yes, that's mind. true, but... Oh, man, it... it he it looks different. Actually, it actually changes the colour of the cloak. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Look at you starting with your red cloak, Alex.